Hello everyone, welcome back to game 10 of my Game A Week series. This week's game is a very special one. I asked over the weekend what kind of turn-based game uh, I should look at recreating. There was a huge time for Pokemon and a risk slash strategy game idea until last night when Pokemon pulled away with the win. Now this game won't be an 8 gym creature catching game like you might be expecting. Instead I was brainstorming and came up with a pretty fun idea. So far I've been playing a lot of Souls-like games in the last few days, Elden Ring and recently released Bleak Faith Forsaken, so I thought, uh, how can I combine turn-based combat with Souls-like combat? Well, we're about to find out, uh, but before we jump into the design slides, if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button, and if you are enjoying the video, please like it. Anyways, let's get into the slide deck. Mechanics. Turn-based, so you take your action uh, and then the things happen. Your character can also level up in this game. Combat will be very similar to Souls-like having similar options, such as attacking, dodging, blocking, and resting. Uh, the resting is going to be more like a back step or a back dodge, so this will also allow you to recover some of your stamina. Basically, the combat is somewhat of a rock, paper, scissors, and yes, there's going to be a stamina bar to stop you from spamming attack and dodge. Features. I'm going to be hand making the maps this time, so they're not going to be randomized like you would expect in most uh, kind of roguelikes. Enemies might be random, but the layout for each floor or area will always be the same for every player that plays it. There's going to be a leveling system kind of close to the Diablo 2 style, uh, where when you level up, you can place five points anywhere you want. So the four stats uh, are all very important to becoming powerful in this game. Strength is your main damage magnitude, so higher strength means bigger hits. Agility is going to be your speed, so higher agility means uh, you're going to be hitting uh, faster than the enemy. You can even dodge faster as well. And if you have a super high agility, then you even have a possibility to attack enemies through their dodges. Vitality is, of course, your base health, which is going to be 10 times whatever your vitality is. So if your vitality is 10, your health is going to be 100. Stamina is your energy uh, and or stamina bar. So it kind of is similar to vitality where it also scales uh, 10 times. Uh, so again, having 10 uh, stamina is going to equal uh, 100 energy. Uh, the last main feature is every enemy will have a unique attack pattern. So some might do two attacks before dodging, some might open the fight with a block, who knows? So you're gonna have to be pretty ready to uh, kind of identify the patterns for each enemy. Progression. For right now, uh, I'm just gonna be having a leveling system. So defeating enemies will award experience. Uh, and when you get enough experience, then you can allot those five points to any of those four attributes. I'm heavily thinking of adding items to the game, so armor, weapons, etc., stuff like that. Uh, this will require a full inventory system though, which takes an enormous amount of time, not to mention having to create all of the different items as well. So depending on time, uh, we may or may not have it in this game. Game loop. So I thought this would again be better than a win or lose condition to kind of explain my ideas. Uh, so this one is somewhat like a roguelike. You're going to start level one, dive into my handmade dungeon, level up, beat bosses, and adventure to the final boss to beat that. Uh, however, if you do die, then you will lose all of your progress. So kind of essentially think as every character is a hardcore character. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure how many bosses, areas, or levels this game will have yet, so you're going to have to kind of keep up with my Instagram posts and videos to come for all of that kind of information. Anyways, so that's kind of the main idea of the game. So let's dive into my rough prototype to kind of show off what the combat looks like and uh, show you a little bit more about my game ideas. 
So here we are in Unity. Uh, this is like the little prototype right now that I have. So as you can see, we have an enemy here with their health and stamina here. And then we have our player with our health and stamina down here. We have kind of all of our uh, options as well. And then this uh, large area is going to be to kind of be our combat log, explain you know what the heck is going on. So let's go ahead and hit play. And then you can kind of see exactly what's going on here. So this is the start of the battle. Uh, maybe I am going to attack the skeleton first. So I dealt 12, 12 damage to them and staggered them as well. So maybe we'll follow that up with another attack. And then uh, I did seven damage to them and they did eight damage to me. And then, you know what, I'm kind of losing some stamina. Maybe I'm gonna back up a little bit here. So I took a step back, I recovered my stamina back and the enemy decided to block that turn. So then let's try one more hit. And then I deal eight damage to the skeleton and it did seven to me. Um, and as you might be able to see or might not, I actually won the battle because its health went down to zero. So I haven't really figured it at all of it yet, um, but uh, the combat is gonna be kind of more or less like this. And I am using kind of, not a new thing, but something that I don't use too often, and these are scriptable objects. So what I'm using is I'm going to be creating a whole bunch of different enemies here. They're going to, of course, have some certain things. So like, you know, what their image is, what their enemy name is, and then their attributes. They're going to be very similar to the player uh, in the fact that they have attributes. And then how much experience they're going to award as well. And then what their actions are going to be. So certain enemies, um, you know, they might have attack, dodge, block as their three main actions and then like a rest somewhere in there as well. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much going to be like the main idea for that. Um, and then when it comes to the actual like walking around part, I do think that uh, I'm going to have you be able to move with WASD and it's going to be kind of turn-based in that fashion too. So when you hit W to move forward, then every enemy on that map is also going to take their turn in moving. And then if you are adjacent to an enemy, then that's when it will trigger this battle scene and then you'll have to fight them. Um, and yeah, that's going to be kind of pretty much it for the demo. Um, so that's the turn-based game so far. I hope the game uh, is starting to look interesting, or at least the idea is interesting. Um, I'm pretty excited to work on this one uh, and going to be definitely putting in some good updates later on. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in Wednesday's midweek update video.